Dear Heavenly Father, we bow before your mighty presence and offer you the prayer for grace and deliverance. We ask you, O Lord, God to show us your divine grace and be the merciful God we know. Save us from evil and his work and grant us eternal rest in your perfect peace in heaven. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning, happy new day, happy Wednesday, September 6, 2023. This is Love World, the key you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song will never cease our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the work of grace. The works of grace. But when we shall find the book of Isaiah 1, verse 18, I read Come now and let us reason together, say the Lord. Do your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Do they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Do your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Do they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. The Christian race is a marathon, not a sprint. Some of us threw Jesus Christ and thought that Jesus will come within a few years after we got born again. Although he hasn't come yet, believe me honestly, his coming is far nearer than it was then. It will soon be here, since this race is a marathon then it means that in addition to strength, you also need endurance if you want to run the race successfully. Endurance come by the special grace of God which He make it available to you standing on the end. These are the work of grace. When I became born again, we were taught that there will be three work of grace that God make available to Christians. Salvation, sanctification and Holy Ghost baptism. I decided to check further and discover that there are at least self step in this process. For my Bible reading today, you will discover that the first thing God said he will do even before salvation is to gather his own together. Just this verse 44, you cannot be saved unless God draw you first. When I came to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, it was because I had a problem. My education could not solve, and God used that problem to drop me to Himself. When somebody is talking about their salvation experience that they say, I found the Lord, they are only speaking from their limited knowledge. God was never missing. It is He who found you. John 15, verse 16. This is why, if you are truly saved now, you should always thank God for the salvation of your soul. It is however possible that God could be drawing a man, yet the man reveals to come to him. The end of such people is only disastrous. There was a popular chief God sent to me to preach salvation to and every time I visited, he would say, not yet. One day, he has a stroke that render is unconscious. I called to pray for him, and within an hour, he will restore to perfect health as is nothing has never gone wrong. This is time I told him, I feel God is giving you a last chance. Will you give your life to God now? 
Again, he said, not yet. The next time I hear about him, he was dead. If God is drawing you to himself and you keep revising, you are telling him clearly that you prefer hell to heaven. You had better surrender to him now for your own good. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Ezekiel 36 verse 24 to 27. And our Bible in one year, Ezekiel 39 verse 40, Owahim, in 28, what can wash away my stain? What can wash away my stain? Our reflection for today. Check yourself. Have you been ignoring the call of God to live holy? Check yourself. Have you been ignoring the call of God to live holy? And I pray God will help you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, this is Love World. Till I come you. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family. And goodness of God, we never live your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.